Welcome back to Rubbing Minds, right here on Channels Television. And of course, we're in the last segment of Rubbing Minds. It's a fun segment, not because of what I'm saying, but of who I am bringing on the show. Um, you see her a lot on your red carpet. You see her a lot on TV. She's always looking fly, always looking nice. And she's, uh, she's, she stayed very relevant and very, very helpful and very useful in the entertainment industry. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome the one and only, I call her the Mbok Bebe. Uh, Vixen, you how are you doing there? I'm great, and I'm very happy to be here. Thank I you know. for inviting me. I, I can't get my, my eyes <laughs> off. What's the color of this lipstick? Well, uh, let's call it electric pink. Electric pink, I like. It's very like. sharp <laughs> and matte and dry. You wouldn't you, know anything about no, that. No, I would <laughs> And if I did, I would be worried. Oh, I would be worried too. Welcome to Robin Minds. Thank um, you again. Looking, looking great, looking dapper. Thank if you. If I can use that word for, for a lady. And you too. You look dapper as well. Congratulations on the twins. Oh, yes. Mm. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so moving on, we're talking about you. <laughs> um, you've, you've been, wow, you've, how many years? Is it it's close to 10? Sorry. <laughs> Behave. Uh, getting to six years now. Okay, six, six years. years. And it's been very, uh, very exciting. A lot of ups and downs. But we thank God we're still here. Like you said, relevant. Thank you for that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's difficult it's being, 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 being relevant. Uh, a lot of, of things are happening uh, oh, yeah. on the yearly. New stars, if I mm -hmm. can use that word, are coming up so daily. To speak. Uh, but talking about competition, I'll, I'll get to that much later on. <laughs> but uh, for those who do not know, mm -hmm. um, who is Yvonne Vixen Aquare? Well, first off, I'd like to say that Yvonne Vixen Aquare is a driven young lady, a lady who doesn't take no for an answer, a go-getter, hard worker, and bold, if I may say. I'm not a yes man, because there are several yes men in the industry, so ah. I'm not one of those people. I'm a TV personality, producer, jeweler, okay. uh, soon-to-be fashion designer, Basically, all around I mean, entertainer. When you, with all of that on your on your plate, where where is there time for for, for the me. mystery man? Not even, I mean, oh. I'm, I'm like you're doing all this, juggling all these balls, and I'm like, where do you find time to actually unwind? Where do you find time to well, to have fun and relax? To be honest, there's never really time for the ambitious person to rest. So. I somehow find a way to relax by sleeping a lot because I rarely get enough of sleep. Hmm. So I try when I have downtime to sleep and go out to the clubs, have drinks with a few friends and in, 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 you know, in the process, I've, I've find a few invited, guys so to are married that, and I, take, I know your wife. Wait, you do, you do not invite married men to have drinks with and you? I'm sorry, no. Okay, that's not a wrong. That, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because they're married first off. <laughs> so they have no business hanging around me. Mm. But, uh, you know, in the process of whining and dining with friends, we just might catch a few eyes. Yeah. And, you know, Well, I think the last the time I saw, you, I, I saw you on TV, <laughs> I, I don't get to watch too much TV myself because of the work we do. I but know, yeah. I, I saw you uh, host, uh, co-hosting with IK, uh, Most Beautiful Girl in Nigeria. Yeah. It was, it was, uh, it was quite refreshing, hilarious. I, right. loved, I loved everything you did. <laughs> and um, Thank you. I was like, you could easily have picked up one of those crowns as well. I know. Well, or should I say I the know. crown? Oh. Any any <laughs> any uh, regrets with respect to that? Is that something you really wanted at a point in your in your career? With regards to hosting the show no, or being a most beautiful girl in Nigeria? Actually, no. I've never wanted to be a beauty queen. If, right from the, the onset, I've been a tomboy because there are seven girls in my family. Oh, so I think snap. they were looking for a boy, and I ended <laughs> up being the tomboy. But as God would have it, I turned out nice. Oh, yes, so yes. Uh, you know, every single year. I get comments like, ah, oh, you should, you should compete. You should, you know, enter for you the mean competition. You've not done any? I've never. Wow. And I don't intend to. Why? Okay. Because Why? of the bikinis. I, I, come on. What? what? Uh, don't look. No. Okay. Sorry. Looking up. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> mo moving on. You've been um, mostly on the red carpets yeah. uh, lately. And I think you have the uh, Vixen red carpet. Is it the channel Vixen red carpet? Or yes. It started this? off as uh, a YouTube experiment because mm -hmm. I wanted to sort of, produce what I wanted the way I wanted it. Mm. You know, you're, you're fond of seeing TV shows that are just... Yeah, it gets yeah, a bit monotonous. Monotonous, exactly. And I thought, you know what, let me do it my way. And mm. YouTube is free. And so I started and the reception was great, okay. unexpectedly. And uh, before you know it, it has become a company, a content mm. production company, a concept development company, 
and a few things I'm not going to mention yet, okay. but it's definitely growing, you know, bigger by the day. And, and uh, your workforce, how, how many people work with you? So far, my production team consists of uh, three people besides myself. Okay. So we're growing. We don't have money yet. But I was about to say that. Is, is the, <laughs> the millions rolling in yet? Because Not I know yet. the, the red carpet, what you're trying to do, I think is similar to what, uh, I mean, the Western world, we have the likes of the E! News. We exactly. Have, there's a lot of glam and mm -hmm. facade and finesse around the red mm -hmm. carpet. Mm -hmm. And you carry yourself very well. Um, now, we've been in this industry quite a while, and we know how red, green, yellow, I blue know. carpets, I know. Uh, all the colors of the rainbow, I know. Uh, how it goes. But what would you say is unique about what you do? What I would say the selling point is, is Vixen. Mm. I never take no for an answer. Vixen. Yeah, they should fierce. Like <laughs> Thank you, Vixen. <laughs> you know, I'm very different mm -hmm. you know i'm sure if you've come across different presenters you would find out that everyone wants to be like the next person mm -hmm. but vixen is different i'm not afraid to attack so to say a celebrity on the red carpet and drag out whatever i want out of that person Thank God I've not met and you that yet. person <laughs> will be comfortable <laughs> enough to sit down and talk with me and that becomes news for instance Bemi Leke Oscar has triplets, and I see you on the red carpet, and I'm like, oh, mm. so I heard you had a fourth baby. And you're like, no, actually, it's three. <laughs> and meanwhile, you had, the public thinks it's two, two, but you had already said it's three because I've been able to, you know, get you, you do, to say that. You do that. a lot of research on, on, oh, on yeah. your guys. Yes, what has been the, is it the clumsiest moments on your red carpet? A moment that you were like, you know what, let me rewind <laughs> time and take that back. How could I have done that? Oh, whoa. Okay, it was one of the red carpet sessions that I was speaking to politicians. Huh. And I did not know one person's full name. Okay. And I said to myself, I'm like, okay, how do I do this? It's like, oh, hello, sir. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, you fantastic. Okay, just for record purposes, for people who don't know who you are, please introduce yourself. And that was it. So I found a very smart way to... And he did. He did. He did. 